I've been deliberating quite a bit in the last three or four months. I, I, I don't think there's any question about that. Anybody who knows me knows how much I love the city, how much I love Essex County, how much I missed it in the five years that I was in Toronto, and how happy I was to come back. Um, but the reality is, uh, quite frankly, that during that deliberation, I'm going to be honest with you, um, my brain says I have an obligation of public service. My brain says that I have an obligation to this community. If in fact I can help this community build in some prosperity, build hope, raise expectations, then that's my responsibility. But my heart tells me to take some time off. Uh, so I'm still deliberating. The, the social justice issue that was incorporated in my heart, in my mind, and in my head out of Local 444 and the kind of community we've developed with all of our community partners. And I'm getting so many people on the streets. I wish people would follow me for a couple days uh, asking me to consider um, running for mayor. And that makes you feel good. Uh, but uh, again, the mind tells me I have a responsibility, my heart's not there yet. I'm not one of those guys, I've thought, I've thought about this a lot. I said after the provincial election, I'd have to make a decision because I think it's in the best interest of the community to do so. Uh, but I'm not one of those guys that thinks four or five months election campaigns uh, make any sense. I'm, I mean, I even see signs in our municipality up today. And I, I quite frankly don't think most of the people in the community want another full-blown election just following the provincial election in terms of no campaign. So the simple question is my brain um, owes a responsibility to public service. My heart is telling me to take a break. So somewhere in between I'll find a compromise. When you say your heart, are you talking about your health? No, God no. My heart is stronger than ever, bigger than ever. Uh, it's the fire in your belly. You need to have the fire in your belly. I mean, uh, in the union you have the fire in the belly every day to work for our members and work for the community and work for the for the better good. Um, that just comes with these particular jobs. And, uh, and I still got the heart, uh, quite frankly, to advance the objectives of our community. Uh, but the reality is I was on um, 724s for almost 40 years. Um, you can ask my son. Uh, that is my son, I think, who <laughs> seen me periodically as, as, I, I, as I led the union. But uh, the reality is, I take a great pride in our community. It's very emotional for me. Uh, and once again, if my mind was making the decision today, uh, in isolation of my heart, I'd be running for mayor. So, you know, to answer your question, it doesn't matter to me who the candidates are. The citizens will make the ultimate decision. But it does matter to me that the candidates fully understand uh, the makeup of our community and the challenges in our community. What style of leadership is needed for the city going forward? Enthusiasm, hope, raising expectations, um, mandating yourself not to lose the young people in our community. And you know, there's a correlation between economic growth, economic stagnation, and uh, I think all of us can agree to a certain degree that. Uh, we've got some economic and social challenges in winter. What do you say though to, to concerns about your ability to run a, uh, to be a mayor of a city given your labor background? Well, I'd be the first guy to say that I'm not running away from my labor background. In fact, I would tell people that I got ed educated in the labor movement. So do I understand uh, economics? Ask Chrysler's and General Motors if I understand economics. Uh, do people understand, do I understand social uh, values? Um, yeah, I was educated in the union about economic and social justice. Um, so, you know, I, I don't, you, you know, I've never considered myself a trade union leader in isolation. Thoughts on Mayor Andy Francis? I don't mean to put you on the spot, but I'm going to. <laughs> well, I've said before that Eddie Francis uh, can leave office um, with a legacy of a work ethic uh, that is undisputable. He works incredibly hard. Um, but the reality is, um, he is a polarizing um, guy. I mean, uh, whether people accept his, his, um, his, his work and, and the end result in his work, what I have to measure myself 
Is Windsor and Essex County better off today than it was 11 years ago? And I'll allow the citizens to make that decision. All I will be able to tell you that employment has been consistently high. Unemployment has been consistently high. There's a new measurement now, by the way. They measure employment. Employment is consistently low. And poverty is increasing. And again, I don't throw that at the mayor's steps by itself. But I don't believe that this particular council has put any social cohesiveness in their decisions on making our community a better community. And again, that's, you know, Eddie campaigned on, on the agenda that he's implemented, uh, which was a low tax agenda, um, many, many cuts to public services, um, many decisions that were made uh, were based on the bottom line. And to me, the bottom line begins and starts with citizens. Is the uh, low tax agenda something that you would change? Well, I don't think it's appropriate for us to make that kind of a, a decision today because standing here, not suggesting I'm going to run for mayor, do I need to respond to that? But the reality is, you, you know, you don't have to be an economist to run for mayor. You don't have to be an economist to run for any particular position. It's simple. Revenue in, revenue up. And the question is, is what is the priorities of the new mayor? And uh, within the revenue itself, maybe we can build a new cohesive community.